two, one, ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff from Falcon Heavy with the Europa Clipper. Unveiling the mysteries of an enormous ocean lurking beneath the icy crust of Jupiter's moon, Europa. Engine chamber pressures are nominal. See the chamber pressures are nominal as we hear all 27 Merlin engines look great. Rocket beginning to roll. Putting down 5.1 million pounds of thrust. They're going to back off those engines just a bit. So we're getting ready to head into maximum max power speed. and telemetry nominal. We hear the power and telemetry on the vehicle are good there. Everything's looking uh, really well. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. That's All so cool. right, it is supersonic on its way, a five and a half yeah. year journey to Europa, one of 95 moons around Jupiter. And why is it critical? Okay, I was saying we look at Jupiter, at the moon rather, and it looks to us like it's just this, this icy rock. But in truth, underneath the ice, they believe there may be a massive ocean, a saltwater ocean. And that is critical because that would suggest that there may be the building blocks of life. And that's what this mission is searching for not life but does it have the building blocks of life for example does it have the water the the uh, the salt water which would be critical as well as is there any significant sign at all that there may be the chemical the chemicals needed rather to create the uh, the ingredients for life everywhere on earth where there is water there is life so this may be the best hope in our solar system to find any trace of life and as you know our solar system is four billion years old so has there ever been a life in our solar system, on Mars, on Jupiter, on the moons? We simply don't know. But this mission now, by the way, the biggest spacecraft ever launched for a, on a planetary mission. When they actually fold out the solar arrays, it's bigger than a, a basketball court. Wow. It is a huge spacecraft, and it's on its way right now on this critical mission. One other big challenge that they have, and you know, the NASA engineers are absolutely the best. Uh, the, the radiation belt around Jupiter is something like 20,000 times uh, more significant or is more severe than radiation on Earth. So they needed to find a way to protect the electronics in the Europa Clipper, and they've done that by creating a special vault, if you will, lined with titanium to be able to shield the electronics from that radiation as it makes 49 flybys of the Jupiter moon Europa. This is absolutely stunning. It's breathtaking. You've gotten to see some of these launches in person. I got to see one once in Florida years ago, Tom, and I was we're looking at what appears to be a very successful launch. The, you know, we, we see the jet. I mean, we see the Falcon 9 rocket. It's, it's there. It's out going where it's supposed to go. Uh, talk to us about how long this mission is going to take. When could we start seeing the data? And, and what are we seeing right now? Is, there's a piece of it coming off, right? Yeah, that's, that's the booster that just booster just just, just uh, successfully uh, Thank you for their separated, service. I should mm -hmm. say, from the spaceship itself. So now the ship will continue on its way. Again, it's going to use Mars as a catapult. So it's going to do a, if you will, kind of a flyby around Mars using that gravitational pull as a slingshot to then go on to uh, Jupiter. And this is really NASA at its finest. Absolutely. Galileo, by the way, discovered Europa, this moon, back in 16. 10. Mm -hmm. So we collectively, humanity, we've all been aware of this moon for quite some time, but only recently has NASA started to think, wait a minute, maybe that moon, rather than Jupiter, maybe the moon has the building blocks for life, if not now, maybe in the past or maybe in the future. So that's what this is really all about. So when does it get long, there? Yeah, Tom, when does it get there and how long yeah. before we get any information from it? Five and a half years. It's going to take a while, right? It doesn't even get there until 20. 30, and so it's going to take them a while to do these orbits around Europa, sending back whatever data and imagery it can. Nine various science experiments are on board the spaceship. So again, arriving in 2030 and then making the first of 49 flybys of Europa in the spring of 2030. 31. So stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of exciting science, maybe the most exciting science discoveries from our solar system ever, if in fact it suggests that there are the building blocks of life. 
Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.